The Pennsylvania Department of State has decertified Fulton County's voting machines after they were inspected by a private IT company behind Arizona's partisan election audit, as other Pennsylvania counties now face similar requests for their voting equipment from a GOP state senator launching a new election probe. $25,000. That's how much Fulton County already paid to lease new voting machines for the county's municipal elections in May. The Pennsylvania Capital Star reported, after Dominion refused to let the county use the voting machines Wake TSI had inspected. The county will likely now have to spend far more to entirely replace the voting machines. York County, Pennsylvania, has estimated it would cost at least $2.7 million to replace its equipment, for instance, and Tioga County in the state estimated to Reuters it would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Mastriano has issued requests to York, Tioga and Philadelphia counties asking for them to voluntarily turn over their voting machines and election materials, with other counties potentially to follow, by July 31st, so that a third-party company can examine them as part of a so-called forensic investigation. York and Tioga counties have already said they're unwilling to cooperate with Mastriano's request because it could result in him being decertified. The Republican lawmaker has said he intends to subpoena the counties should they not voluntarily provide the materials, likely setting up a legal showdown as Democratic State Attorney General Josh Shapiro has vowed to fight any potential subpoenas. Fulton County's election audit predated the partisan audit now underway in Maricopa County, Arizona, which Wake TSI similarly participated in until pulling out of the recount in May when their contract expired. The Arizona audit has come under widespread criticism and is now under investigation by the House Oversight Committee, but has nevertheless spurred a new nationwide effort by Republican state lawmakers to launch their own election probes. In addition to Pennsylvania, efforts are also underway in states including Wisconsin and Georgia, and Texas House lawmakers introduced legislation Tuesday that would initiate an audit of their results. While the partisan audits will not change the election results, Critics have warned they could sow further distrust in the vote count, as happened in Fulton County, where Wake TSI concluded in its final report that while the county's election was well run, there were several issues of note. While these may seem minor the impact on an election can be huge, Wake TSI claimed in the report, which the Post notes was seized on by figures on the writer's evidence of potential fraud. There is no credible evidence of widespread election fraud in Pennsylvania or elsewhere, including involving Dominion voting machines.